This is vlog 558. I'm taking this beast right here, the GMC Acadia, putting a kangaroo in the back, right in there, and taking it to be shipped. It's a good day. This kangaroo was an approximate three-week build for Kathy. It was uh, incredibly difficult, quite a challenge because this, although she built this same costume very similarly about 20 years ago plus, it had a lot of parts to it, uh, a lot of sewing, a lot of complex little pieces, really pooped her out. Voila, and the kangaroo has been shipped on its way to Chattanooga, not a place that you would normally find kangaroos in their, in their habitat, in the wild, but you never know. And I decided to take a walk through the neighborhood and there's a lot of houses that were burned out. This one in particular, this is the driveway. It goes all the way down. It's been like this for, since what? Early, oh. Early 90s? Um, yeah. I think that this was also the landslide. So all of this kind of collapsed underneath. Yeah, that's a big matter where it's a fire and then a landslide. Yeah, there used to be an old car down here too, so we're gonna go check and see if it's still here. Mm -hmm. That's not how it's stable. Ooh, look yeah. At that. yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Look at this wall. And then this is gonna go. Yeah. That's a worry. <laughs> Let's not walk next to that either. So either the car is here. Or it's not. It was in the garage right around the corner here. Gone. Used to be a big Lincoln parked right there. Oh, that's where the swimming pool is. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. Check that out. It's even got water in it. Yeah, let's go take a dip. Oh, excellent. He even has some nice tile. Check it out. Not anymore. Yeah. 
this separation, that's not a good sign. Not too good, but the house itself is right out there somewhere. Let's go see. Oh man, this is where the house was. Yeah. 180 degree view from this place. The ultimate pad. This way out here, if I can find it, that's Santa Barbara Island right there. How far do we go? We went nine floors, 4,401 steps, 1.5 miles. All right. I wanted to go two miles. About 1.30 in the afternoon, I'm headed north on PCH, out of Malibu, up into, ultimately, Camarillo. But this afternoon, I'm gonna be driving with my friend, Mark Truman. He's got the Black Beauty from the Green Hornet. So I spoke to Mark and I said, hey, we need to take that thing for a spin. Of course he said yes, and that's what we're gonna do. Although I didn't tell him that I was bringing all you guys too. I hope everyone can fit. Still driving the 2017 GMC Acadia. This car goes back on Thursday. I don't have another one scheduled as far as I know right now. But so far this car has been uh, quite a trooper. It's very robust, very aggressive, and uh, just an absolutely great design. So I'm up at Camarillo now, and I just got a call from Mark, and he's having some cooling issues with the car. He is uh, stopped over at an Arco station. I'm gonna run over there and see what's going on. Chances are we're not gonna be able to drive this thing today. But when he gets the stuff worked out, we're gonna take it for a spin. It might be a week or so. Hey man, that's what happens when you have a you know classic car. What's up, man? Well, <laughs> I, we were supposed to be driving together and the car decided not to cooperate. Just we can pretend like we're driving. Okay, no, we're at the no, wrong end of the car. <laughs> this is the, the, uh, the engine compartment for the Black Beauty, uh, Mark's stunningly wonderful vehicle. That Who's not wanting to cooperate? But we're gonna plan for a different one, yeah. and, uh, and he'll come to one of the wheels and waves. But, Absolutely. But for now, something is not going right. This probably belongs somewhere. Yeah, um, and there was stuff dripping all over the place. And So the beauty is staying put for a while. He's gonna be able to finish it, make it make it work. But right now, it's got me having some cooling issues. So yeah. it's gonna work it out. We're gonna drive it a different time. Disappointing, yes, no, maybe, yeah, certainly disappointing because we meant to take the car out, but more disappointing for Mark because he 
love Zipcar. And I, I wasn't disappointed because I, I roll with anything. It doesn't really matter. I had a good time just going up there and, and seeing him and hanging out. But we'll circle back to that in just a second. Let's talk a little bit about the car I'm driving because we gotta kind of get into this a little bit. The 2017 GMC Acadia Denali. 3.6 liter V6, 310 horsepower. S mileage around 18.25. You know, not uh, necessarily uh, that great, but not necessarily that bad for such a big car. I wrangle one of these for 29 up to 44,000. 44 is pretty much the one that I'm driving right now. They always send me the, the one that has all the bells and whistles and stuff on it. It's a great design. It, 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 you, can't, you can't argue the fact that the exterior absolutely rocks. It's got a, a really nice balance to it, as most of the GM cars you know have right now. GMC specifically for trucks. And while I'm driving this car, you know, uh, Kathy was out busy doing certain things, really important things, super important things, things like this. I just got back from the beach and I find treasures every time. So today I found this beautiful shell. Look at this, it's perfect. It's all stuck together, but nothing's living in it anymore, so it's okay that I take it. No tide, that's when you go to the beach. And not only that, I went 2.6 miles today. 13 floors, 7,000 steps. Good day. See what I mean? Yeah. Important stuff. But circling back, you know, with what happened to Mark and the, the Black Beauty, you know, those kinds of things, uh, they don't bother. And that's the theme for today. When things happen in your life, things that seem disappointing, things that, that you uh, have trouble dealing with, things like expecting things to go a certain way and they don't. What's important has nothing to do with the situation at all. It doesn't have anything to do with it. What's important is how you look at it, because how you look at it will determine what happens next. People dwell on their problems and they think about their problems, and guess what? They lay down the black carpet of problems. If you want to change things up and lay down the, the red carpet to the Academy Awards, where they actually mention the right movie. Laying down the red carpet is about thinking thoughts of expectation on a positive side. You expect things to go well, voila, they go well. Expect things to suck, boom, they suck big time. That's the equation, people. That's the, the mathematics behind the universe. It's not hard to understand. It's a little hard to implement sometimes because it requires belief and faith. You have to think that if I think this way, then things are gonna work out okay. Not everybody thinks that way, although they should, and if they did, imagine what the planet would be like. It'd be freaking awesome. Everybody would have cool hats. And speaking of cool hats, tomorrow we're gonna be going on a hike. Doesn't have anything to do with the hike, but I like the segue. Where are we gonna go? I don't know, people. I never know, but I'm gonna find out shortly. And best of all, we're gonna be taking you guys along with us. Oh yes. That's it for today's vlog. Peace out.